Welcome back, folks. With just two weeks to go to the Extreme Bentrest competition in Arizona, I was ecstatic to learn that the Royale 500 was inbound for review. Our channel sees its fair share of high-performance rifles, but this is one that's performed especially well along the competition circuit, so I was excited to get my hands on it. The conditions today suck for making airgun reviews, but all the better to see what a competition-grade rifle like this is truly capable of. With Tropical Storm Julia spinning just 200 miles to my northeast, I've got 12 mile an hour winds to contend with, and they're gusting to 16. Air gunners know that conditions like this make printing at 50 and 100 yards almost impossible, but what better a circumstance for the Royale 500 to show us what it can do? It's commonly accepted that the JSB 25 and 34 grain pellets are the go-to loads for this gun. I experimented with the 25s, and they did well, but in this win they couldn't hold as tight as the 34s. At these competitions, it's common to see people hand loading, so I'm going to shoot a card for you this way and we'll see if it makes a difference. Inherent to their extra heft, 25 caliber pellets do better in the wind. It's just that simple. Hand load them, put them through a smooth twist barrel, and you can see the 500's appeal when cash prizes are on the line. To illustrate the point, I'm not doping for wind. I'm keeping the crosshairs lined up right on the red dot, and we'll do the same thing when we push back to 100. There's plenty of power here too, over 50 foot-pounds of it. The shoot and see disc is adhered to a box filled with 30 pounds of rubberized mulch, and it's getting kicked around pretty good. The red-shouldered hawks must be looking for love because they've been making a racket all day and the blue jays aren't having it. Damn. Damn is right. This gun's crazy accurate and the high wind's effects on it are negligible. But the 500 is more than just a good barrel. It's the sum of its parts that make it great. The side lever cocking flicks around with ease and the safety lever is nice and light. Its trigger movements are just as precise. A feathery first stage pull is met by a second stage break that's as crisp as they come.
Brake weight is adjustable, and this one arrived letting off at just about 12 ounces. It all works together to make shooting the 500 accurately quite simple. At 47 inches long, this rifle might be a better bench gun than field gun, but that doesn't mean it can't be a great hunter. A lot of the extra length comes from the barrel's moderator, which does a superb job at quieting things down. And the synthetic stock keeps things light, real light, just 9.2 pounds as you see here and on a full charge. Remember, there's 50 foot-pounds at work here. What's more, power is adjustable, so so is sound. <laughs> now that's quiet, and was still a 14 foot-pound pop. Let's try that again. Amazing. The friggin' birds are chirping louder. This Royale is accurate, powerful, and quiet. And to fill its 500 cubic centimeter aluminum reservoir is a piece of cake. Begin by removing the magnetic metal dust cover that hides the fill probe. Secure the quick connect foster fitting. and charge to a maximum of 220 bar. When shooting inside of 30 yards, the Royale 500 will give you 121 usable shots with the power selector set to high. Average energy comes in at 44.24 foot-pounds at the muzzle. To take advantage of the 500's long range and high power capabilities, recharge to just 135 bar and then again every 20 shots. In doing so, you'll be rewarded with a standard deviation of just 2.89 feet per second and an average muzzle energy of 51.20 foot-pounds. I'd be all day making shot charts in the medium and low power settings, but here's a couple examples of what they'd look like in the meat of the power band. Practical applications for these power settings include urban pest eradication, backyard covert operations, and just plain plink and fun. I've probably got no business reviewing an air gun in winds like this out to 100 yards, but I believe it to be a fine example of what a competition grade rifle is capable of, so I'm going to share it with you. They're swirling from forward to backward, from left to right, and from backward to forward, and I'm not going to compensate in any direction for them. As long as we're sitting here waiting for this gust to move through, let's take a second and talk about the FX scope and mounts. This is the second time I've had my hands on a set, and I still really like them. This one's a 4 dot illuminated 6 to 18, and paired with the adjustable scope mounts are all you'd need out to 150 yards. For reference, 
These first two shots landed within 1.22 inches of one another. Four out of five shots within 1.13 inches of one another, and no compensating. Impressive. Now listen very carefully, because someone's going to wind up with a nice shooter. Air Guns of Arizona provided our rifle and scope today, and for a special one-time opportunity to purchase the actual gun used in the making of this video, be sure to give them a call. You'll save 10% and get free freight, and when it's gone, it's gone. Then I'll clean it up, package it up, and drop ship it straight to you from here. AEAC certified. JSB provided our pellets, and Caldwell Shooting Supplies supplied our targets and shooting bench. And you know the best way to thank them. If you guys liked what you saw here today, and you want to encourage us to make more videos like it, please be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and tell your friends about us. As always, I'm Steve Shally, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon.